So this is a very short video, but a quite useful video to show you how simple it is to combine images together using the elliptical or the rectangular marquee tool. So if we come over here, if we have a look, we've got the move tool and then over here, we've got the rectangular marquee tool or the elliptical marquee tool. This means you can use these to take selections of an image and drag and drop them into another image. So for now, I'm going to look at the elliptical. And what I want to do is combine a selection, a central part of this image, and combine it with this, and then insert it here in this teacup. So I've downloaded this picture. This is a stock picture from Unsplash. So if you find it difficult to find images to work with, and um, then and you just want to practice the techniques then unsplash is a great site just to download images purely for experimental reasons okay you wouldn't be able to include these in your sketchbook unless they are part of your mood board okay so let's go to this image here so i've got it here as you can see on the elliptical marquee tool and just a reminder, if you see a little arrow like this, this means that there's more tools underneath the first one. OK, so for now, we ticked on the mar on the elliptical marquee tool. Now, to make a nice constrained circle so there's no distortion, so it doesn't become an ellipse, you press shift and you hold the shift button down. And then I keep the shift button down. Oh. I've managed to take two, so let's Command Z, Command Z, and let's do that again. Shift button, keep it constrained, keep it constrained, there. Now you can position that as you want, so I'm just moving the arrows slightly. Let's move that up a little bit there, and there we go. Okay, now I'm clicking on the Move tool, and then I'm going to drag and hold it, and then hold it, hover it over this, and then still holding and uh, release. Once you can see the black arrow over your image, release and your picture will appear. There we have it. We've got a nice circular image. Okay. And remember, if you want to zoom out slightly, there we go, so we can see all the picture. Now, you don't need to press shift here. You just take one of the corners and resize. Let's make that a little bit bigger. There we go. So you just scale it up, but you need to take a corner like so, and just drop that in like so, and press enter for it to commit. And there you have your image combined like so. And there we have it. Okay. And there are other techniques where we can have a bit more of a blended mode and we can look into that. But for now, that's how you can combine an image. And I've got another one here. So we'll do it again just to reinforce this. So remember, hold the shift down, drag over your picture like so. There we go. Use your arrows if you want to just tweak it slightly. There we are. Well, off center it slightly so it doesn't look. There we go. Happy with that. Grab your move tool. Then I've got my other image. I'm going to drag and drop into here. Hold it, hold it. Make sure the black arrow is over the image and release. And there's your picture. And then just take the corner, scale it down to the size you want it. There we are, we can just scale it right down. Make it slightly bigger if you want. And there we go. So I would like you to experiment with the marquee tool and start just getting to grips with using the um, elliptical marquee tool and the rectangular marquee tool and then combining two images together if you can find two of your own images then that would be amazing that would be fantastic okay so enjoy good luck thank you